And a heartbreaking holiday season ended today for the family of Kaman Battle. The 12 year old was shot to death in Portsmouth just a few days before Christmas. Today was his funeral and still no arrests or possible suspects in the boy's murder. Megan Purrier talked to his cousin who's a Portsmouth school board member. Megan, is that right? Philip, that's right. It's just a really sad story today. I spoke with Kaman's cousin, DeAndre Barnes, who says after his cousin's burial today, the family is just asking the community for change. These are the floors where DeAndre Barnes coaches. Ready? Go. He trains kids with the Portsmouth City Sports Club. Oh, not two hands, one hand. These are the same floors he used to train his cousin, 12-year-old Kimon Battle. But today, Barnes had to bury his little cousin. You know, people just want justice. And, you know, people are hurt. A 12-year-old kid dying, getting killed the way he did. Just days before Christmas, Kimon was shot in the head on Lexington Drive in Portsmouth. We all have to come together. We all have to do what we have to do to stop violence so that our kids can grow up. Barnes says every holiday and birthday without Kimon will now just be a sad reminder. Him going into the grave, him getting shot and killed. Of how Kimon didn't get to grow up, and what the world missed out on. I mean, he was a great kid. All, if you talk to the teachers, they love him. And anybody that communicated with him or he was in the place, you knew who he was. He was a protector. He protected the people around him. Barnes now wants to focus on change. So because of that, we have to get these kids early on. But he needs help to make that happen. The community, the city, the churches as well have to come together. We do something to make sure that this doesn't happen to any kid again. Barnes says their family is going to work in honor of Kimon. Our goal is to make sure that we, we don't let him die in vain. Kimon's family asked that if you or someone else knows anything about Kimon's death, that you come forward or call the crime line at 1-888-LOCK-YOU-UP. In the studio, I'm Megan Perrier, 13 News Now.